You don't have to do this, you know. I'm sure you have a ton of work to do. Right, and find out that you backed out, went back into work. No way, not ever. I'm not doing that to Emma. We're going to find you something here. We're going to get your house decorated. I forgot how determined you can be. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one thing we had in common. True. We just became determined about the opposite things. Yeah. Look, I know that us not talking for like seven years is this huge elephant in the room, so... Shh, I... shh, shh, Not in front of the trees. Christmas tree shopping is a sacred... Okay. Wow. Oh. Movie shot on iPhone 11s look really good. The sacred ritual of Christmas tree shopping in a parking lot. It's Marisol Nichols and Paul Green in the new Hallmark Christmas movie, Christmas CEO. Chris is married to her job as the CEO of a toy company, and things are moving in the right direction until her ex-business partner, Joe, gets in the way. It's one of the newest movies in Hallmark's Countdown to Christmas, and that means it's time for... Producer Ted reviews Christmas movies. That's right. Producer Jed, Ted Johnson joins us from Christmas Movie Headquarters, better known as something we call the Cove over there in our next studio. Hello, Ted, that's a look at the, your uh, fabulous tree behind you, Ted. We finally got a tree for this segment. We're not in the Christmas card, but we have a tree in that segment. Right. That's right. Um, are you, by the way, did you look, are you in the Christmas card from our station? No, I must not have replied to the email or something. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm sure, they, I'm sure they invited us. I'm sure they did. Tell us about the plot of this movie. So you've got Chris, short for Christmas. No. Are yes. you making that up? No. Okay. Short for Christmas because she was born on Christmas. So, yeah, all that. Okay. So she is the CEO of a small toy company. And then the big toy company CEO comes into town and says, Chris, I've been watching you and your career, and I want to merge our companies and you take over. The one problem is we need Joe, your former business partner, to sign off on the deal. Okay, so I said in the intro that they're ex-business partners. How and why did their, uh, I'm watching this video, uh, why did their business relationship uh, fall apart? So she is focused... She doesn't like Christmas, obviously. She's, you know, very focused on the profit margins and the business behind the toy company. And he's, he's the toy guy. He's the big ideas guy. And they just, their, their ideas just went in a different direction. So uh, he's working down the street. They hadn't talked in seven years. He stormed out of, of the company. He, and so now she found him working at a toy hospital. And so she gets to the toy hospital and she says, you know, I'm sorry, I, wait, Ted, toy hospital. Yeah, that's <laughs> he's working at a toy hospital. Okay, I'm sorry, please continue. So so she tries to convince him he needs to sign off on this so the companies can merge. So he enlists. He said, in order to get my signature, you have to volunteer your time at my toy jamboree. <laughs> and so I can't. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. So she spends like the next several weeks working on his toy jamboree in order to get his Christmas signature. The whole time he's trying to instill in her the, the magic that is Christmas and get her to remember, uh, you know, just how beautiful Christmas is. Does it happen? I don't know. Uh, and we'll find out. Uh, how was the acting? It wasn't that bad. It was. I don't know who these two people are. I think she was in 24 once. I'm sure you have a ton of work um, to do. And I don't know who he is, but he could be probably in Days of Our Lives or something. But uh, they, they were pretty good. I, I, this video, this clip that they sent us right here, this looks really bad. But then the rest of the video looks like a normal Hallmark movie. Does it does it look normal when you're watching it, Ted? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This clip, this clip is a little. It's a little tinny. It's a little tinny. Yeah. Well, if you're new to us, this is what we do. Uh, Ted, uh, our show, we have a checklist. Uh, we go down this checklist. We're checking it twice uh, to make sure that this Hallmark movie is quality. So, Ted, let's go through them first. Does this Hallmark movie have a big city girl, small town guy-esque concept? So they're both in the big city. But she is, you know, kind of big company, and he's a little t small toy hospital guy. So I guess maybe. Okay. Half a check. Was there a kiss in a gazebo or town square? No, they made out at the toy hospital.
Did they make Christmas cookies together? No, but he did decorate her apartment in Christmas decorations. So he kind of made her apartment look like this. Okay. And new this year, a new checklist item. Did they make snow angels together? No. Can I add one to that? Sure. Every one of these has a pratfall. Like, oop, she accidentally falls into the arms of, was there a pratfall? Hmm. No, but there was a weird Santa involved who sort of knew everybody. <laughs> okay, let's get to the ratings. Ted, what's the highest rating? Remind folks, what's the highest rating? We you go can... from zero to four crowns. Four Hallmark crowns. Four Hallmark crowns. Okay, take it away, Ted. Take it so away. So, Leo, uh, the big reveal. You might be surprised by this one. Um, I kind of enjoyed it. So, we are going to give it three Hallmark crowns. Wow. That is, yeah, that's unexpected. Ted, thank you so much. You can see that on the Hallmark Channel. We're going to take a break. We'll be back live from the Toy Hospital right after this. No, but they made out at the Toy Hospital.